Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Abuja, Nigeria, the Gorilla. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, five losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Alejandre the Cannibal Pantoja! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavin. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster, especially this. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at the whip action that comes with this going that kick. Wow. Wow. Oh. 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 Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. The one-two punch is true. Oh! All right, closes the distance, gets a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Punch is blocked. Oh. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Whoa.
Look at the angle of that nice body. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Able to check the high kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Wow! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Lands a good combination. And he comes through with a big knee. Side control now. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, he's got the choke. He should be defending right now. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. Submission defense there. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh, nice. Oh, well, he's got one hand in, one hand out. Now what you're looking for defensively. There you go. Shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! Oh, he tasted that knockout line! He tasted the knockout line! He got him! <laughs> Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight.